Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you how to significantly speed up your old iMac by booting from an external SSD. I purchased a Samsung T7 SSD and it is screaming fast. It boots now within seven seconds, everything feels snappy, it feels like a brand new computer. Totally worth the upgrade if you're gonna to continue to use an older iMac. Um, I've seen a few different guides on how to do this and some of them require you to download the Mac OS X software and it takes a few different steps. This is the easy way and so let's get started. Um, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna restart your computer or turn it on if it's off. Um, and as soon as you hear the chime, you're gonna wanna hold Command and R at the same time. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna boot you into the recovery mode. <laughs> And um, then from here, we're gonna take a few different steps to get that installation started. Okay, so once you're booted in, you should see this screen. You're gonna wanna go down and click Disk Utility, hit Continue, and then it should take you to this screen. You're gonna see your Samsung over on the side. However, this is not the one we wanna reformat. You actually wanna go to the menu in the top left and hit View, and then do Show All Devices. So now you can see that it shows the, the master SSD partition. So this is the one we want to reformat. So you'll want to click on that and then you'll want to click erase and then give it a name. So we'll just name this Samsung T7. And then we'll want to change the format to APFS. This is important. APFS was created just for SSDs. It will actually increase the speed by quite a bit. Um, so we'll want to keep it as that and then everything else as default and then hit erase. Okay, so that's done. And then we're going to want to quit out of here and then should take us back to the main screen and then we we'll want to hit reinstall Mac OS. Click continue. And since I'm using a 2013 iMac, the latest version I can install is Catalina. So that's going to install that by default. So I'll hit continue there. And we're going to hit agree and agree. All right. So now you see the newly formatted hard drive. So we're going to click on that and then we're going to install it on there. And this will take about 23 minutes, possibly a little faster. All right, after you have Mac OS installed, it should take you just to the normal welcome screen where you can go through, fill out your Wi-Fi, set up all of that stuff, and then it will take you directly into your home screen. All right, so once you fill out all your information and you're on your home screen, you're gonna wanna go down and click settings. And then you're gonna want to go to startup disk. And then it should be selected by default, which it is. It says you have selected on the disk Samsung T7, so you don't have to worry about changing anything here. But if it's not, for some reason it has your old HD, you're gonna wanna click this little mock button, uh, type in your username unlock that and then you're going to want to select T7 and then hit the restart button and that way it will always default to um, the Samsung T7 instead of the old drive. But yeah that's it this is for a fresh install if you're looking to clone your drive there's some other tutorials out there for you but I always recommend a fresh install when changing your system like this uh, but yeah that's it you're all set.